What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Go Pony, and today we are in the new 2020 Lexus NX300 F Sport, courtesy of Bobby Ray Hall Lexus in Mechanicsburg, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to click the link in the description box below. But dang, this thing looks good. We're in this one today because not only is it good looking, but it scored the very highest reliability rating by Consumer Reports. Therefore, it is a pretty solid bet. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so the way I'm going to break down the pricing is there are two different setups you can go with for the NX300 F Sport. You can go with the front wheel drive variant starting at $39,110. And then there is the all wheel drive version for $40,510. But regardless of which setup that you go with, the power plant is actually going to be the same. Powering this little beast is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 235 horsepower at 4,800 RPM, 258 pound feet of torque available from the power band of 1,650 to 4,000 RPM. Power again sent to front wheels or all wheels through a six speed automatic with paddle shifters, which you guys know we will be testing out in a little bit here. But nonetheless, when it comes to zero to 60 time, it is gonna come in at approximately seven seconds flat for the all-wheel drive 7.2 seconds for the front wheel drive of course makes sense a little better grip with the all-wheel drive setup top speed in case you were interested 124 miles per hour with mpg numbers coming in at 22 in the city 28 highway for the front wheel drive 22 city 27 highway for the all-wheel drive so with just one mile per gallon less on the highway i would say just splurge a little bit and go with the all-wheel drive in my opinion especially if you're here in pennsylvania where we get snow quite often but so anyways before we do any kind of acceleration in the NX, I did want to mention there are a few different drive modes, and that circular dial is actually located just to the left of the shifter, and that is going to include Eco, Normal, and Sport. And essentially what those driving modes are going to do is adjust things like the throttle response, shift points, steering sensitivity. So if I were to put it in sport mode like I just did, it did immediately downshift for me. It is going to hold the RPMs at a much higher level, giving you more power on demand. But so now having said that though, what do you say? Let's go ahead and do a quick little paddle shifter test and what I am actually going to do for that paddle shifter test is I'm going to slide the shift all the way to the back and to the left. That is actually that manual shifting mode, so giving me full control over what gear I'm actually in. So that's definitely nice that the NX has that availability if you wanted it. But therefore, let's do a quick little paddle shifter test and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here. And here we go. Wow. Yeah, they're actually not that bad. Usually SUVs, you have an incredible delay when it comes to battle shifters, but with the NX300 F Sport, they actually react fairly quickly. And I mean, it's not like BMW or Maserati fast, but definitely a very quick reacting paddle shifter. Kind of surprised me there. But if you didn't want to go through the gears yourself, of course, just slide the shifter back to the right, and that is going to give full control back to the NX. And since I did that, let's go ahead and do a quick little acceleration here. Let's see how quickly we can get the new NX300 F Sport here up to speed. <laughs> yep. You guys, zero to 60 in seven seconds flat is really quite good for an SUV. Really no issues with merging onto the highway. That was actually a decent acceleration for what the car actually is. And again, this is an SUV. It's not an LC500 or anything like that, but definitely a nice acceleration to the NX. But so anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 11.7 inch ventilated front discs in the back, 11.2 inch ventilated rear discs. As far as the braking feel goes, let's do a quick little brake test here. Yep, I heard everything sliding around in the back. Absolutely no issues with bringing the NX to a stop, so that is definitely on point in this as well. But so anyways, touching on suspension and handling a little bit up front, you will find an independent McPherson strut front suspension with gas pressurized shock absorbers and a stabilizer bar. In the back, essentially the same thing, independent double wishbone type rear suspension, gas pressurized shock absorbers and a stabilizer bar. Did what I mentioned though, there is an optional adaptive variable suspension. And by the way, this option is only $770 and I say only because a lot of other manufacturers kind of jack that adaptive suspension system up so 770 is actually very reasonable for that suspension system and the reason I like that is because essentially it's going to monitor each shock absorber individually which means having the system monitor the road conditions
suspension, so it's gonna absorb a lot of the road's imperfections, giving you a smoother ride. But not only that, but when you're going around heavy turns, it's gonna tighten up that suspension, really giving you the best of both worlds. So that is definitely one option I would recommend. Wish I had it in my own car, because if you enjoy going around the back roads a little faster, if you just like having a smoother ride, that adaptive variable suspension is definitely where you're gonna wanna be at. But overall, when it comes to ride quality, has been on point in the Lexus today. I guess it's pretty much as expected we are on the Lexus. As far as the steering feel goes, that actually surprised me as well, at least in that sport driving mode that I am leaving it in. Just based off the steering feel alone, it is a heavier weight to it. If I take it out of that sport driving mode, instantly it's more loosey-goosey so it is kind of nice having the best of both worlds you can choose between having a heavier steering feel or a lighter one but we'll go ahead and put it back in that sport mode because it is definitely a nice feel to the steering wheel when you have it in that sport driving mode at least touching on cabin noise again very much on point i don't have a whole lot of exterior noises coming into the cabin but again it's pretty much as expected in any kind of luxury vehicle touching on visibility i will say it's not as good as the rx i do remember that however of course it's not bad it's just a second row headrest for the size of the nx it really takes up a good bit of the room back there as far as visibility goes so i know i'm probably being picky here but honestly you can see perfectly fine out the back and of course you got your blind spot monitoring system in the side mirror so you don't go turning into any Buddy as well but did want to mention another option there is a windshield wiper de-icer that is available for an additional $100 for only a hundred bucks I'd say go ahead and go for it especially if you live in Pennsylvania so that's definitely gonna help you out because we all know some days you just don't feel like scraping the ice and snow off your windshield and it's nice to have that windshield wiper de-icer so nonetheless that about rounds out the performance segment of this review let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this beautiful 2020 Lexus NX 300 F Sport all right, you guys, here she is, the 2020 Lexus NX300 F Sport. Let's start by taking a look up front here. F Sport specific front end, of course, gonna be a lot more large spindle mesh front grille up front, of course. Also some silver accents on the front chin spoiler. You guys can see them. They're kind of a brushed aluminum accent, really, but definitely looks good. Much more aggressive look with the F Sport. That's why I always prefer the look of the F Sport trims when it comes to Lexus, at least. To the sides, LED headlights will come standard across the board. And of course, they will come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out, they're gonna turn on automatically for you there. One last thing you have to worry about, LED daytime running lights just below those headlights, kind of like that Nike swoosh symbol. That's what you guys are looking at right now, of course. Triple beam LED headlights with adaptive lighting system will come as an option. That's actually what you're looking at right now. By the way, that option goes for $1,515. Adaptive lighting, meaning when you're going around a bend at night, those headlights will swivel based on your steering angle. Better help illuminating what is around the bend so you're less likely to hit a deer or a possum or a rodent or anything, squirrel, whatever. <laughs> so those are definitely nice as well. And then just at the very bottom, you're gonna find some fog lights, which will also come standard up front there as well. But so anyways, now let's go ahead and make our way to the side. Looking up top there, satin aluminum roof rails. Of course, to time with that front chin spoiler, but they can be found up top across the board. Chrome window surrounds, also standard. You also have that F-Sport badging found in the front fender there. Then taking a look at the side mirrors here, they are power adjustable heated side mirrors with LED integrated turn signals. And they will come in a gloss black finish as well, in case you were curious. And that is specific to the F-Sport, of course. A little more aggressive appearance, I guess you could say, but LED illuminated door handles. I wish I could show that to you guys, but it is a nice bright sunny day here in Pennsylvania, so you're not gonna be able to see them. So take my word for it. That is gonna look pretty darn cool at night. Then take a look down at the wheel setup, 18 by 7.5 inch split five spoke alloy wheels with a machine finish will come standard on the NX and they are gonna come wrapped in all season tires, of course, as well. So now let's go ahead and make our way to the back. First thing I always like to mention, shark fin antenna, body colored shark fin antenna found up top there. Just below that, rear spoiler with an integrated brake light, of course, rear window wiper just below that. LED taillights will come standard across the board. That's definitely a plus as well. F-Sport badging found in the lower corner of that lift gate. Also, you're gonna find some satin aluminum accents on the lower part of that rear bumper as well. And of course, to the sides, dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So I think you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip.
All right, you guys, so now since we are around back of the NX300, there are a couple different ways you can go about opening that rear lift gate. There is a button on the key fob. If you like, simply just press that. There is also a button found by the driver's side left knee on the interior. If you wanted that as yet another way you can go about opening it up. As far as if it's power lift gate, that's an available option for $400 if you wanted to go that route. And there is a power lift gate with a kick sensor. That is $550 if you wanted to go that route. So that's simply where you just walk up to the lift gate, kick your foot underneath the rear bumper and that is going to open up for you so it's always nice if you have your hands full of kids or groceries or whatever but once opened up cargo capacity is going to come in at 17.7 cubic feet if that was not enough space for you though there is a 60 40 split and by the way a power folding second row so that is going to power fold down for you so that is definitely pretty nice as well also in that cargo area there's a cargo area cover there's some grocery hooks and a little bit of in-floor storage back there as well and overall plenty of space for the NX but making your way up to the rear leg room that is going to come in at 36.1 inches so for reference I'm an even six feet tall this is how much space I have back there those rear passengers though can also find a rear center armrest with cup holders there is rear ventilation for that second row as well it's actually something that doesn't come standard on all smaller SUVs so I always like mentioning that that's definitely nice and by the way that is a reclining second row for a little extra added comfort for those rear passengers the only thing I probably would add Add with the NX Lexus if you're watching this it's probably some rear window sunshades I wouldn't have minded having them especially since this is a Lexus if you have a newborn bringing them home in the NX it's always nice having those rear window sunshades but having said that you can of course purchase them aftermarket but they're never quite as good as the factory spec but make your way up to the front seats this is the very best part of the NX 300 10-way power adjustable driver's seat eight-way power adjustable passenger seat comes standard heated and ventilated front seats will come with a comfort package goes for $1,140. Leather finish comes standard as well. And I love the red circuit leather that we have in this particular one today, but the really the best part about the NX300 is the seat comfort. I always say this, I feel like whenever I test drive or review a Lexus, the seat comfort is absolutely amazing. Out of all manufacturers out there right now, Lexus by far has the best seat comfort. It kind of feels like the seats are hugging you at all times. And I know that sounds extremely unmasculine of me to say here reviewing the NX, but it is an absolutely amazing seat comfort. So if you had bad back issues, let me tell you guys, there is no better seat comfort out there right now than really any Lexus, including the NX300 F Sport. They're absolutely amazing. But anyways, moving on to the steering wheel. Tilt and telescoping steering wheel will come standard. And by the way, that is a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Of course, it will come leather wrapped. There is F Sport badging towards the bottom, and it is actually a heated steering wheel as well. So that is definitely nice for super cold days in Pennsylvania like today, for instance. When it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. Of course have your Lexus logo on the one side and when you flip it over lock unlock and of course that button to pop the rear hatch but it is actually all keyless entry with a push button start across the board so all I am going to do simply leave the key in my pocket put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button which is kind of located just to the right of the gauge setup so once started up, speaking of gauges, tachometer is on your left, speedometer is on your right, fuel information all the way to the right. Then there is a small digital display front and center, which by the way, can be controlled by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side of the steering wheel. But that essentially is gonna give you a ton of different information, like how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's also your boost pressure because this is a turbocharged engine, of course. Also, I found there is G-Force statistics. And again, I guess that's the F-Sport speaking in this NX300, but that was pretty cool to find. There is a digital speedometer if you wanted to display that up there. There's a compass, there's your radio settings, safety information, when you need your next oil change, and the list goes on. So quite a bit you can check out up there on that digital display. Then touching on overall interior quality, power moonroof is gonna be optional on the NX. We do have that option today. Definitely looks good up top there. Dual zone climate control will come standard across the board. Just in the middle of that, you will find your Lexus analog clock. Always gives it more of a high-end look on the interior, so that's definitely nice. Home link control is also standard for up to three different garage doors found on that rear view mirror. That's definitely a plus. Aluminum foot pedals, specific, of course, to the NX300 F Sport. I absolutely love that as well. And by the way, to go along with those aluminum foot pedals, there are aluminum Lexus sill plates as well when you first get into this one, so that is definitely a plus too. 
Did want to also mention there is a CD player on the NX300. A lot of manufacturers are doing away with CD players, but I think that's kind of cool that Lexus still has it there if you're that retro kind of person, I guess. But overall, very high end finish, tons of red accent stitching everywhere. There's a nice aluminum trim finish found on the doors and just above the passenger side glove box. Like the black headliner, gives it a very sporty appearance on the inside here. Also like that the interior lighting found on the top here is all LED as opposed to your standard halogen bulbs. Electronic parking brake, you can find that just to the left of the shifter. You've got dual cup holders just behind the shifter. Of course, a red stitch center armrest as well. That red stitching is everywhere. It's a very nice look to it. As far as the cargo area underneath that center armrest, there's actually an auxiliary port, two USB charging ports within that. There's a small little felt tray as well in there so things don't slide around. That's always a plus, but a decent amount of space within that center armrest as well. So overall, a very high end, very nice finish. Lexus always finishes their vehicles pretty nicely on the inside. So definitely no issues for me there. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the tech display up front. The standard setup, you guys, is going to be an eight inch color display. However, there is also a 10.3 inch color high resolution display screen available. And by the way, that can be controlled by the touchpad controller found just behind the shifter once again. But overall, for the placement of the tech display, it would kind of be a reach for that touch screen anyway. So it is kind of nice that the touchpad controller is there and it's very easy to use. It's something that's not going to take very long to get used to, quite honestly. You just hit the menu button and you really have all of your options all there in one spot. So very nice setup there. Bluetooth audio streaming will come standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which is a new one for 2020. That is a Toyota thing, Toyota Lexus. All of their cars now have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay minus the Supra, I guess, because that's a BMW. But nonetheless, that is definitely a plus. Therefore, if you hook your smartphone up to the NX, you have free navigation through Google Maps. If you have an Android phone, that's what I use all the time. It's definitely a very up-to-date map system perhaps the best you also have the ability to like and dislike your pandora songs up in that screen as well there's a couple other compatible apps too factory navigation system if you wanted it goes for one thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars but if you have a smartphone you really don't need it climate control information can also be found up there and of course your radio settings and by the way when it comes to the sound system in the nx you will find an eight speaker sound system that will come standard then in addition to that there is a 10 speaker premium sound system that comes with the navigation package that would do happen to have today by the way that goes for eighteen hundred and sixty dollars and then one further there is a 14 speaker mark levinson surround sound system that goes for two thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars that is 835 watts by the way but let's cycle back here to the 10 speaker premium sound system that we have here today let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one <music> Actually, a very nice 10 speaker sound system. I was kind of surprised there. Mark Levison kills it, of course. So if you wanted the very best, go that route. But 10 speakers is actually a very nice sound in the NX300. I will say that I have 10 speakers in my own car. I love it. 10 speakers, I think it's the sweet spot as far as really nice sound systems go. And then of course you can go up from there, but very nice sound system with the 10 speakers in the NX300, I will say that. But last thing I wanted to mention on that tech display is of course, when you do put the NX300 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera that will come standard across the board and a couple different views as well, by the way, which again, you can control by using a touchpad controller. There's a wide angle and then there's your standard angle, but as always, that is going to let you know who or what is behind you, and that is going to lead us into safety. And so let me first start by saying the very best part about the safety. The Lexus NX300 F Sport is rated as an IIHS top safety pick plus, which by the way is the very top safety rating by IIHS. So really it doesn't get better than that starting out with safety right there. But continuing on, Lexus Safety System Plus 2.0 will come standard, which is going to include low light pedestrian detection, speed limit recognition, pre-collision system, lane keep assist, intelligent high beams, and dynamic radar cruise control. So essentially what that dynamic radar cruise control is, it's gonna monitor the speed of the vehicle in front of you on the highway, slow down when they slow down, speed up when they speed up. So again, less stuff you have to worry about there. That blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert that I mentioned to you guys earlier, earlier in the visibility portion of the review. That is actually optional for the NX300 and definitely an option I would recommend there. Front and rear parking sense, there's another option for $535. Front side, side curtain airbags, of course, driver and passenger knee airbags that come standard as well. That's definitely something that you don't see standard on every manufacturer out there. 
In the back, of course, you got latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, as well as a tire pressure monitoring system. And so that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. Oh, 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 the better